All right, Pac-12 Friday night action, Stanford and Colorado. We've got Colorado 12-point home favorites, 58-59 uh, the total uh, in this game. Um, if you, I don't know how many people that are watching heard Deion Sanders after the win against Arizona State where they got that narrow three-point victory, a late field goal, uh, got the job done for them against Arizona State. But you would have thought they lost the game and they got their ass kicked the way he was talking to the media. Like he was livid. He said his team was sloppy. We didn't come out ready to play for much of that first half. So you would have thought they lost that game if you listen to Dion talk after that ASU win on Saturday. That tells me he's going to be whipping his uh, troops into shape here over the week. You know, he wasn't happy with the way they came out in that game. It kind of has me thinking maybe Colorado first half in this game because he didn't like the slow start. He's sick of the slow starts. You can lay six and a half with Colorado here uh, in the first half at DraftKings. They've got a minus six and a half on the uh, Buffaloes here in the first half. I think if you're just listening to the coach and you see that they've had issues lately with bad starts uh, in games, the USC game, they got down big uh, in the first half. They didn't play a great first half against Arizona State. Dion's fed up with it that they haven't been ready and haven't been at their best early in these games. And now they finally get an opponent at home where they have the potential to flex their muscles a little bit. Now, they are still dealing with injuries on the, the offensive line. Obviously, Travis Hunter, we're going to have to see if he's ready to come back. It's been a week-to-week -week thing with him. Um, and obviously, he's such a significant impact player uh, for this team. But you look at Stanford, and I'm still wondering how they were right there with Arizona. But outside of that, they've had some ugly performances. The USC lost by 46, 56 to 10, 42 to 6 loss to Oregon. Uh, in their last game. Now they are off a of bye week, so there is an advantage here for Troy Taylor, the new head coach at Stanford, a little extra time to prepare. But after what I heard from Dion after the, in the press conference against Arizona State, he was just said, I'm, we're not, I'm not putting up with this shit anymore. The bad starts, the sloppy football, uh, even in a win, he was not happy with what he saw from his team. It wouldn't shock me to see Colorado come out fast, come out strong, come out early here. Uh, in this one. So I haven't bet it yet, but I've got, I've got my eyes on that first half for a Colorado. I'd probably prefer that than the minus 12 for the full game. You can lay six and a half with Colorado in the first half. This might be a game where Dion gets, finally gets their attention and they have a much better start. Something he's looking for after the last couple of weeks. Uh, Connor, what do you think here? Stanford, Colorado. Yeah. One thing here, if you like Colorado, I wouldn't lay the points. I would wait here till the team total comes out and go that route. Uh, in this one, it seems like they could get into the 30s. Stanford doesn't have a great defense. They're off the bye. They played a pretty good first half and covered against Oregon because I had that pet split. And then they got routed in the second half there at home. But I think they're all a football team. And one thing, even though their offensive numbers, if you look at it, aren't great when you go through everything, this Colorado defense is just, last it's just almost in all these categories 128 123 stanford's going to be able to move the ball i think one thing that when you don't have the personnel this colorado defense right now uh they're going to give up some scores if this keeps creeping up a little bit i get two touchdowns I'm going to be on stanford all right yeah i mean i think i definitely think 14 would be way too much for me to be laying with colorado but like i said now that i can get the first half with colorado below the key number of seven knowing that Dion's lit into his team and his players now for a bad start and a slow start for a second straight game against Arizona State. I definitely think that that first half might be a good situational bet. Back home, you know, let's get let's get this team playing well in the first 30 minutes for a change. Um, and let's see if, uh, again, Travis Hunter might be back. It's not confirmed yet, but it's week to week. Uh, he's yeah. still out as of now, but it's, uh, again, a week to week thing. Anthony Hankerson got banged up a little bit. The running back was very good, but Looks like he's going to be okay for this game. Um, and it has been good to see some of these offensive players, Weaver, Jimmy Horn, and Marion Miller stepping up for Colorado. The defense is still leaky. The question is going to be, can Stanford take advantage of that Colorado defense? Because we've seen some weeks where Stanford's been able to move the football with the uh, Ashton Daniels, Justin Lamson quarterback tandem. And then there's been some weeks they haven't moved the ball. And keep in mind, too, Daniels, Ashton Daniels, that Oregon game, helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit head injury coming out of that game and he's still listed as questionable here for Friday night against uh, Colorado 